one is a kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation problem so let's get started problem solve x e power x y plus y sorry plus 2 y into dy by dx plus y into e power x y equals to 0 solution given differential equation x into e power x y plus 2 y into d y by d x plus y into e power x y equals to 0. Consider it as equation number 1. You can write this as x into e power x y plus 2 y into d y plus y into e power x y into d x equals to 0. Right? Also you can rewrite it as y into e power x y into d x plus x plus e power sorry x into e power x y plus 2 y into d y equals to 0 which is in m d x plus m d y form. where m equals to y into e power x y and n equals to x into e power x y plus 2 y. If dou m by dou i that is partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. Okay. So, we'll find partial derivative of m and n. Partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to dou y dou y of m y into e power x y. So here we are having y as a variable, right? We'll treat x as constant. Okay. We are finding partial derivative with respect to y. So we'll take will treat x as constant. Fine. So, we know that uv whole dash equals to u dash v plus v dash u. Then, you can treat y as u and e power x y as v. Derivative of u into v plus derivative of v into u is equals to derivative of y with respect to y is 1 into e power x y plus derivative of e power a x is a into e power x right Derivative of e power ax is a into e power ax. Since we are treating x as constant, so derivative of e power x will be, e power xy will be x into e power xy into y is equal to e power xy plus xy into e power xy. You can also write this as e power xy times 1 plus xy. Simply by taking e power xy common from these two terms. Okay. Now, we'll find for n. 
do n by do y equals to sorry we have to find partial derivative of n with respect to x do by do x of x into e for x y plus two y here y is treated as constant okay this equals to do y do x of x into e power x y plus do y do x of two y since two and y are constant so this term becomes zero this is equals to here this is of u v derivative of u v form right again you'll use u dash v plus v dash u okay fine so this is equals to derivative of x that is derivative of u into v plus derivative of v into u plus this becomes zero right plus zero this is equals to derivative of x with respect to x is one into e of x y plus derivative of here y is treated as constant okay we know that derivative of e power ax is a into e power ax so we can write this as constant into e power x y into x this is equals to e power x y plus y into x x y into e power x y here also you can take e power x y common from the two terms and you can write this as e power x y times 1 plus x okay x y sorry we are having y also right e power x y times 1 plus x y so here Do n by do y equals to do n by do x. Therefore, do n by do y equals to do n by do x. Now we'll integrate m and terms of n which is free from x okay firstly we'll integrate m integral over x m into dx that is integrating m with respect to x treating y as constant okay this is equals to integral y into e power x y into dx so here we are integrating with respect to x right we are having differential dx so we have to treat y as constant so let's write the constant outside the integral you can write the above as y into integral e power x y into dx. We know that integral e power a x into dx equals to e power a x by a. Then e power x y dx can be written as e power x y by y. Your y is constant, right? So this equals to y gets cancelled. We get e power x y. Comes it as two. Now coming to second one. Integral of terms of n free from x into dy. 
So terms of n which is free from x is 2y. So we'll integrate 2y. Integral 2y into dy. See here, this term is containing x, right? So we won't take this. Is equals to 2 into integral y dy. Integral y is y squared y2. 2 gets cancelled. This equals to y squared. Answer it as 3. The general solution, therefore, the general solution of 1 is 2 plus 3 equals to integral constraints. Then 2 is equal xy and 3 is y square equals to c is the required general solution. So we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.